I'm available 24-7 to, to help solve issues. Right. Call me 3 a.m. on a Sunday morning, I don't care. A cross-pollination of Thomas Edison and Tony Stark, Elon Musk. Were you a little naive when you thought I was just I can easily build, build an electric car and, and a rocket? I didn't think it would be easy. Um, I th like I said, I thought they would probably fail. Um, but you know, like creating a company is almost like having a child. So it's sort of like, how do you say your child should not have food? So one, once you have the company, you have to feed it and nurse it yeah. and <laughs> take care of it, of it even if it, it ruins you. Yeah. But uh, suppose in, there were some tough times in uh, 2008, end of 2008. How did you get through that period of crisis? Yeah. Can we just break for a second? Sure, sure, sure. Of course, yeah. You want to wait a little while? Yeah, I sure hope it was worth it. Sure hope it was worth it. It's everything. And um, I was borrowing money from friends to pay the rent. Well, I mean, Tesla really faced a severe uh, thre threat of death uh, due to the Model 3 production ramp. Essentially, the company was bleeding money like crazy. dead or completely incapacitated. Starting a business, I'd say, number one is have a high pain threshold. <laughs> That's it. Um, there's a friend of mine who's got a good saying, which is that starting a company is like eating glass and staring into the abyss. Okay, that's, um, that's generally what happens. Because um, when you first start a company, there's lots of optimism and things, things are great. And then, so happiness at first is high. Then you encounter all sorts of issues. Uh, and happiness will steadily decline <laughs> and then you'll go through a whole world of hurt. <laughs> That's
Your goal is to be less wrong.